Hey friends, and welcome back to your next hot news clip. And today we're gonna to be talking about AMD's next generation processors. Yes, already, I know, Ryzen 3000 just came out. Zen 2 just hit the shelves and then got removed from the shelves because everybody bought them and then is struggling to be replenished. Anyways, there's been some rumors, I will heavily preface that, coming out about AMD's next generation architecture of Milan for Zen 3 on their Epic chips. So that is what we're talking about today, but it's actually quite interesting. Rome just got announced and you have up to 64 cores on the Epic chips there. With the new Milan stuff, instead of having nine different chiplets on the CPU die, Milan is expected to have 15, which is quite the jump from one year to the next. Obviously, there's no uh, guarantee that Milan will launch a year after Rome, but the purpose behind this is actually quite intriguing. Essentially boiling this down, one of those chiplets is actually used for an IO die. So Rome has eight dies dedicated to CPUs and then one for the IO die. Each of those eight dies has eight cores, so that's how you get 64 cores on the Epic chip. Now, if we scaled that up to Rome, having 14 dies that are dedicated to the CPU cores and then one IO die dedicated to the IO, well, then you have a maximum of, quick mess, 112 cores. However, based on the way memory controllers currently work, it couldn't address more than 10 dies at a time, which would leave the max capacity at 80 cores. Well, if it has 10 dies dedicated to CPU cores, it still has five other dies dedicated to other things. One is the IO die, four left blank. What would those four be? Well, well, apparently it would be to implement HBM memory onto the CPU so that they could feed some memory to the processors on board before they actually go to external memory using the IO die, which would allow the server chips to overcome some memory bottlenecks that would be typical in this chiplet scenario. So this is something cool that AMD will potentially be implementing according to this WCCF tech rumor and would very much uh, annihilate anything that Intel currently has on the market as far as high core count as well as high performance. And considering Rome is beating Intel's server chips, the Xeons, in a lot of the same things that Xeons used to beat them in, if Milan actually continues that with higher IPC as well as higher cores and then better performance because of inbuilt HBM, Intel very may well lose more of its server market in the upcoming future. So this is something quite cool. Scaling it down to desktop CPUs probably likely will not happen. I mean, it's taking AMD a, quite a while to even get us up to 16 cores on the AM4 chip. And even then, it's not ready when the rest of them were. I mean, the 3900X has gone on sale and has been off and on sale for so long because AMD just apparently that's not something that they can mass produce at this point, even if the demand is there. So I wouldn't foresee this coming to the mainstream user like you and me, but it could potentially scale its way down onto Threadripper where you would have maybe one or two HBM dies addressing some of the CPU cores. And that way you could get 64 cores on Threadripper 4000 generation. And then you could do a whole lot more with that. We'll have to see what the implementations are. We'll have to see if this is even a reality. As I mentioned, this is indeed a rumor by WCCF Tech, but it's something cool that I wanna throw out there. But thank you so much for watching this hot news clip. Be sure to hit the like button, get subscribed, and stay up to date on all of our clips. And if you need an explanation as to why we're doing clips instead of full episodes, check out this video right up here. Words are getting confusing now.